What's up everybody, welcome to a new video. In today's video, we're going to be doing a Redbubble plus Instagram uh, in-depth tutorial. So I'm going to be showing you guys exactly what I'm doing. And uh, like I said, a behind the scenes video. At the end of the day, that's what this channel is for. It's some behind the scenes content of me showing you how I set things up. Uh, so let's go ahead and get into it. So this is a demo account. I've actually spoken about this before, but ever since the copycatters um, took hold of my uh, Redbubble store, uh, the copycats have been left and right. So I said, okay, the winning methods, the selling methods, uh, I'm going to keep on, um, or essentially my day-to-day -day activity is going to be on a different Instagram account. So this is a demo account. And like I said, I the copycats went through the roof. So I had to figure something out. I think we gained like 16 followers on this account today and it's not even, I didn't even use it today for automation, but I'll show you guys how this works. Um, for Instagram, we utilize Instagram to grow our Redbubble stores. Uh, this is, like I said, I'm showing you the behind the scenes kind of aspect. Uh, so let's say I want to focus on selling this product, whether it be this one or the phone case associated with it, whatever it might be. Um, uh, Gary V actually talks about this. It's called the jab, jab, right hook. Uh, or hook kind of strategy, which is essentially just acquiring, acquiring traffic, acquiring traffic, acquiring traffic and followers, and then shooting them with the right hook, which is the sale of the product. You could see here, I have, these are what I call inspirational type posts where there's no real selling that goes on in them. So like a post like this, it's just purely inspirational or this one, it's just inspirational. Um, now there is some selling in the background here. And by the way, these might be a little bit, uh, pixelated cause my screen is a lot bigger. Obviously people who are on Instagram are on their mobile devices. So it's a little bit different, but you could see the tremendous, uh, growth here. We went from 16 likes photo to all the way up to 70 likes, 71 likes, 116 plays here. So what we did was we did some sales here and we got some sales from these posts. Um, and uh, when I say these posts, keep in mind, this is a demo store. Uh, so I do have a separate uh, Instagram account uh, that I'm doing this on. But, you know, this is for uh, demo purposes, so for YouTube purposes. But anyways, created the um, posts, got some sales, and then here got some inspirational content, which helped shoot us up our following. Now, for the following, we are using the bots and apps. Uh, you can also use igbots.org. Um, the product from igbots.org, which is the monthly software. Uh, so, uh, excuse me, this is the, the one-time payment software. It is the uh, optimal bot. And if you want to pay monthly, you can utilize any one of these softwares. So we're using the follow and follow the like and the comment. We're just using it very strategically. Um, on the optimal, you obviously don't get that. Uh, so I'm just going to give you guys uh, kind of the explanation of what I do. So there's two types of content, okay? And I'm sorry if I was a little scatterbrained so far, but I'll, I'll kind of tune in, you know, tune it down right now. There's two types of content. There's sellable content, and then there's inspirational content. You could do both, um, and I do both, and I do a mixture of both. Uh, so this is clearly sellable content. All I'm featuring here is just the product. That's kind of obvious. And if you want to do this with your Instagram, you could do this as well. It's very easy. Just post pictures that relate to the product. You can go straight to your Redbubble store and just copy and paste uh, pictures, right? And uh, let me go ahead and make sure everything's visible here. So let me just drag this forward. But... Um, yeah, it's sellable content, right? So I could take a screenshot of this, post it on my Instagram. That'll be sellable content, right? Inspirational content is stuff that people, it's probably going to get more engagement. It's going to get me more followers, more likes, etc. So there's a difference there. Um, here, what I did was I created a bunch of sellable content and it did get me results in terms of sales. Like I said, I've done the video where I showed how I got my first sale in 18 hours. I, I've done all that content. You guys know about that. If you watch the channel regularly, you know what I'm talking about. Then we did some inspirational content. Now I'm going to post my first um, sellable content in a while. So I haven't done that yet, but I've been getting sales consistently because we're using the Instagram bots to grow. So what are the Instagram bots? Like I said, I just featured them right now. There's one website called igbots.org and there's another website called botsandapps.gumroad.com. Now these are sister companies. They work, I guess, together at the same company, um, but Essentially, what they do is they create a service where you boost your Instagram account growth without paying uh, the advertising system for it. So if you're familiar with Facebook ads or Instagram ads, they're the same company, obviously, uh, which is Meta. They, they're owned by Facebook. Um, 
And when you pay for ads, they're drastically more expensive than if you would use the method that I'm about to show you. Uh, and this is an in-depth tutorial, so you guys might know about some of these methods because um, I've featured them on my other channel. I really don't see anybody talking about this, so the fact that I'm talking about this here um, is a little bit different, but just stick with me here. Um, I've been doing this for years, so it's not like... I'm not pontificating, I'm not guessing, I know exactly, you know, how to do this, and I've been doing this, like I said, for years, many years now, um, and for many people, this is uh, a cheaper way to utilize before paying for ads, or not even choosing to pay for ads, now, I really recommend you not pay for ads if you're doing Redbubble, uh, because you're not going to uh, gain as much profit as you think. In fact, you're probably going to lose money, but um, it's just not a wise decision to make. So let's just go ahead and jump right in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to post my content. I'm going to go over here to Instagram. I'm going to create, you know, add my post here. I have a few images that I took screenshots of. So I'll head over here into the screenshot section and just add these screenshots here. And I have, you could see, one photo here, one photo here, and one photo here. So this is perfect. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here and say, if you like this t-shirt design, click the link in bio to order. And I'm going to go over to my Redbubble store, and I'm just going to go over here to the actual link, and I'm going to copy and paste this, right? So I'm going to copy and paste this, and I'm going to just copy it. And I'm not going to paste it yet, but uh, I could add some hashtags. So let me actually go to a hashtag generator. And Instagram has changed with the whole hashtag thing. So I know there's, uh, you know, there's there's certain ways to do certain things. But this is, like I said, a beginner tutorial here. So um, we're just going to type in hashtag Christian. And let's go ahead and, and get what we get here. And this is good enough, right? I'm not, I don't even need to read it. You know, it does the job for now. And for us, the hashtags are not really going to be tremendous growth because we already have the super, you know, the steroid method that you guys are about to see. Uh, but this is good enough. Um, so we have our photos. It's going to be in a carousel form. Uh, and what we'll do is we're going to click share here. And it's going to post it in just a minute. So we'll go ahead and wait for that to happen okay it's posted and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to edit profile and I'm just going to copy and paste the link here okay so I'm going to copy and paste the link that I had so I'll copy and paste it here go to my profile and paste it. you guys are not gonna see this because it's gonna be blurred but um, I'm just adding the link of my account uh, so that when I go back here when people essentially click on my my bio they're going to be clicking on the bio and it's going to take them to the right page, which is the t-shirt page here. And you can see here it's clearly a sales page. This is the easiest way to do it. And so when people look at this, they're going to essentially see the photos, right? So let me go back here and just refresh this. And so now I have developed some following here. And you don't have to wait to develop a following. Like I said, you could do this while you're building. You could see here I did this here. And... The more consistent you are with this, like on my other account, we're doing this every day, three times a day. Uh, so one regular photo, one inspirational photo, one sales photo, and so on. Like we're, we're flipping. So it could be two sales photos in one day or two inspirational, just depending on the day. Then what we got to do is we're going to look for um, accounts that we can target. So if I just go over to the search and I search for, what I could do is I could search for certain photos. So if I go on this search here, I can click on, let's say, hashtag Jesus for example, and targeting essentially people that, uh, that that would be interested in what I'm having to offer. So let me go ahead and refresh this page real quick. And sometimes this does take a little while because there's just so much content here. But um, I can go to any one of these photos. So let's say this one. And I can go and open up the like list, right? And now I have a whole list of people that I can engage with. And you could do this with this software or this one and I'm specifically going to use the uh, follow and follow one real quick and if you guys need a tutorial 
to learn how to install and use these softwares, I have one on my website, autopilotpassiveincome.com. You can go over here to other and you could see free Instagram bot installation guide. You click on it and it will show you how to use every single one. And if you can go here to the Instagram plus Redbubble mini course, I have a free course. I'll also leave that link if you guys want to check it out. Check the description, check the comments for all the links. All right, so check that out. But anyways, we're going to go over here to the Instagram and we're going to whip out the bot. So what the bot's going to do is once I turn this on, it's going to refresh the page here. And it's going to, uh, we can pull up a list of the people who liked this photo. So they're primetime people, right? Obviously, my targeting might be a little bit off just depending on the niche, and I have to figure that out later. But uh, these are primetime because this photo is brand new. It's two hours old, and I get to interact with these people. So I'm going to go over here with the bot, and I'm going to set my numbers. So I'm actually going to come out with a new guide for setting the numbers soon. Um, but for now, we'll just leave this the way it is, and uh, I'll just go ahead and click follow here. And what it's going to do is it's going to follow every single person for me. And that following is going to give me more followers and more sales. And sales are going to come later down the road. It's not going to happen right away. And it also just depends on you know the content you promote uh, and the things like that. So I could get a sale maybe 10 hours later down the road, right, after I finish this following. I could get it a week later. It just depends on who you target and how you engage with them. And at the end of the day, also the content, like the quality of your content. So this is an average t-shirt. I'm not going to say it's anything crazy. So this may or may not get a few sales. Um, but there were some other designs, and I don't want to share them here because, like I said, I'm going to get probably copycatted like crazy. Uh, but certain products perform lots of sales for me. And so uh, this one, like I said, is pretty average. There's really nothing special about it. So it might get sales, it might not really kind of neutral. But um, either way, you could see here, it's going to keep following people for me. So it's already completed three people and it's just going to keep going. So I'll just leave that here to the side while I'll explain more stuff here. So essentially, what's going on is I'm using the follow and follow the follow process to do that and then once I reach 7500 people that I have followed I'll start unfollowing them and what that will do for me is I'll follow I'll be able to follow a bunch of people now I just canceled out of it so let me just turn this off because I want to show you guys what I'm do doing for the like process as well and once again I'll share all my numbers in a premium course that I'm going to uh, uh, put out for Instagram because recently the information that I put out in this course it's changed uh, Instagram is, is very very quickly changing and um, the numbers the the limits that you want to do on an hourly and, and basis and things like that are changing so that's just something I want to put out but um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up the same hashtag. Let's just pull up uh, hashtag Jesus once again. And I want to like people's photos. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go over here to a photo. Just give it a minute. And I'm going to go over here to the... Um, uh, you could either use the like bot or the... Um, or, or the optimal. So I'll use the optimal for now. I'll turn this on. And I'm actually going to have to search for hashtag Jesus once again so that I could actually do this correctly. So it has to be on. I search for hashtag Jesus. It's going to come up with a list of things, a list of people that I can engage with. Let's just say I pick this one. And what I'll do is I'll click on the tool and I'll make sure the numbers fit where they want. So let's say I want to do 20 likes and I want to do each like, let's say, uh, one second to 20 seconds in between actually let's just leave it to one from one to five seconds actually let's go to 10 and like i said this is just for the sake of the video these are not the numbers i recommend if you want to learn about the numbers go to my website there might be a premium video or premium course uh, mini course released something like that that you could uh, get access to and now what i'm going to do is click on the like button and that's it and i'll just leave it here and you can see here just like the photo and it's going to move on to the next photo in a few seconds and it's been what did I set here? 1 to 10 seconds. So you can see here, just went on over to the next one, like the next one, and I'll just wait. I'm not going to move my mouse whatsoever. You can see here, just did it again, just did it again. And notice what it's doing is that it's randomly doing this. So it's not like it's... um. It's, it's a random number between 1 to 10 seconds, right? The weight might be longer sometimes, and the weight might be shorter sometimes. But either way, it's waiting. And, and what that does is that mimic human being activity. Uh, so that's kind of what it does. But anyways, let me go ahead and uh, stop this right now because I do not want it to keep going here. Um, and something you want to be aware of is there is a limit to how much you want to do every single day. Um, 
what I have noticed and what I've asked customer support on is um, they say that the limit is different for every account. So you cannot, uh, like let's say you have one account that could do 100 follows a day and then you have 20 likes a day on that account. Well, that might be different than your second account or your third account, right? You might have another account that could do more. You, you might have another account that could do less. Uh, but I do have some generalized numbers, like I said, that will release in that premium content, which will be coming soon. I'm not going to release it anytime right now uh, because... I'm just too busy doing other stuff uh, right now, but you guys kind of get the point behind that. So the, the concept is the more content I upload and the more I engage with people, the more I'm putting out my message that I have something to sell. And over time, I'm developing larger, larger audience. Now that larger following, that larger audience uh, will get me more sales just by following me, just off the sheer, you know, and there's two reasons why. When you have an audience and you have a certain engagement rate, Instagram is going to put out content to those people's circles. So, for example, if Instagram knows that Sam loves my content, well, Instagram is going to see, okay, does Sam's friends engage with Sam's content or what Sam engages with? And so if Sam engages with my content, they're going to put out my content to Sam's friends as well. So it's almost like a, um, a tree-like effect. Like, I'll show you guys what I mean by that. Um... And I'll show you here through a whiteboard. So let's say this is my iPhone here. And this is where my Instagram photo is, right? Well, what's going to happen is let's say I have a follower with the name of Sam. So this is, let's say, Sam. And he follows my content. So every single time he sees one of my posts, he likes it, he engages, he sees it, etc. Well, Sam has followers and friends, right? And he might he might have a friend named Tracy, and he might have a friend named Alexa, and here he might have a friend named Zach, and here he might have a friend named Mike, and all of these people uh, will see in their explore page things that Sam might be interested in because they're friends, assuming that they're interested in the same thing. Now, Instagram will gradually do this through testing. They won't put it all out right away, but what they'll do is, they'll let's say Sam likes a photo in the religious religion niche, maybe he likes a photo in the motocross niche and basketball, right? So what they'll do is, they'll find, let's say, just one friend, like Tracy, for example, they'll put in uh, a basketball image in front of Tracy, and they'll see how Tracy reacts. And if Tracy reacts positively, the put over pour, put more basketball images in front of Tracy through the explore page. So if you're, I mean, we're all familiar with the explore page, right? So you're, it's not your home feed, but it is this button right here, the uh, explore, and so you'll get to see the new kind of content that kind of comes up, right? And so. For example, if I'm interested in basketball, I'm going to see more content that's basketball related, right? And so this works on a recommendation basis. It could be something that I'm interested in. It could be something that someone else is interested in. And uh, I generally don't like to look at the explore page here uh, because... First of all, I don't engage with anybody from the Explore page, but more importantly, you never know what kind of content is being posted by certain people. Uh, might not be, you know, necessarily beneficial for you to see. So, uh, but that's kind of how it works. And Instagram users always use the Explore page. And so what happens is, is here, so Tracy might see a certain photo, like it. And so what Instagram does is they'll see Tracy likes that photo. Okay, let's put it in front of Mike as well. And let's see what happens. And, and there's becomes a cyclical approach of sharing images. And this is kind of how the Instagram algorithm works. And so what happens is, is now Mike, Tracy, etc., all this group of people are also interested in what uh, Sam sees because Sam is engaging with a certain kind of content of mine. So overall, if you look at the stats of each photo, so let's say this one, if we click view insights, we can see numbers uh, that are related to our business that not necessarily um, people we engage with. So for example, you could see here 208 people we've reached uh, and we've been using the bot. So 34% were not following our account. So that means from home, 141 have. And, and there's kind of, you know, and we gain two followers from this one photo alone. And that's just one photo, right? We can look at all different photos. So four people sent this photo through messaging. Um, we can look at this one. 
that has 71 likes. Let's view the insights for that. And you can see here 34 as well, which is kind of odd, but 276 people reached, right? Uh, we can take a look at this video and see, uh, can we even view the insights on the video? No, we can't view that live. Uh, we could, I could view it on mobile, but I can't, I don't think I could view it here. This one is a little bit different. So here in this case, we had 63% were not following our account who saw this. Um, so that's a completely different number and we're exposing ourselves to new audiences here and you could see here how much from the explore we've reached uh, and how much from profile how much from home etc and what our our bot does is is we're or essentially our automator which like I said you could either use one of these or one of these um, and like I said if you need help installing it if you need some kind of guidance or anything like that just click on my uh, website and go to other and use this video and this course here to, to help guide you through the process of installing and everything like that. And if you need help, just reach out. I'll help you. No problem. But it's generally very, very, very easy, like crazy easy to learn how to install it. Um, but that's essentially the way it works. And I could follow, I could like, etc. I could even do a comment and I do do commenting, but on certain accounts, I don't do them on all accounts. So like this, this demo account, I don't, but there are certain accounts that I will do and the way it works is I'll pull up a hashtag once again and I'll just make sure the comment tool is uh, out so I'll go over here to my commenter and I'll set my comments so in this case let's just say this is the comment that I want to set right and I'll go back here and I'm going to do a comment of uh, 15 from two to six seconds so I could just click on any image I want so let's just say I click on let's say this one and I go over here, I go to my comment tool, uh, which is right here. And this is from, like I said, from this website here. So it's this one, right? And uh, what I'll do is head over here and just click start. So I'll just click start performing comments. And so what you'll see is without me moving my mouse, it just typed up my comment and now it just hit the post button. And now wait a certain amount of seconds, move on to the next photo and do the exact same thing, right? So it's it's easy and uh, it, it really helps you uh, get the job done faster. So I'm just going to go ahead and pause the commenter here because I do not want it to keep going. So I'll just hit stop here. Um, but you can see here, if we go back into the photos, our comment is right here. It's at the top. And what happens is, is when other people see this photo, friends and family of this person, right, of this person right here who posted this comment, who has 3,000 followers, they're going to see my comment. They're going to engage, right, because my comment is right there. It's recent. Be like, oh, this guy sells Christian photo uh, phone cases. Let me go ahead and click. So they're going to click on my profile. Guess what they're going to see? They're going to see a product here for sale. And we already got one like on our uh, on our um, uh, post here. So that's kind of how the way it works. And so over time, depending on how good your targeting is, whether you do comment, whether you do like, whether you do follow, whatever you do, uh, the more essentially the better you are at that the more results you're going to get through redbubble and that equates to sales when i say results i'm talking about sales now you can measure results in a smaller fashion by just going to your analytics within redbubble and seeing if you're getting traffic and you don't want to do this like within a day or two you want to check within a week and so just give it a week see how much traffic you're getting because um redbubble sometimes they process the traffic could take 24 to 48 hours to do so. So if today's the first and you start on the first, the best time to check is like on the fifth or the sixth and check how much traffic has passed, have you, have you gained on that specific day on the fifth and the sixth. And a little tip I have here is when you're doing this, um, check what accounts you're targeting as well because the results you're going to get are different. Some accounts you can get a lot of followers from. Some accounts you can get a lot of sales from. Some accounts you'll get both. Some accounts you'll get none. So you just want to test what accounts you're testing. So for example, I found this account right here, um, this D Tony account. I get a lot of followers from this account. So I can go to any of these photos. Like let's say I go to this one and I could pull up the amount of likes and I could just engage with every single person here. You could see I already engaged with some people. And the reason why it's sporadic like this is because I'm engaged with people from other photos. So maybe this one, I believe I engaged with, I'm not really sure. No. Yeah. This one. See, you could see here, I followed a whole bunch of people and I gained a whole lot of follows back. So uh, I can click here on my on my um, heart icon and this is going to show me the activity and I didn't even use this tool 
yesterday or today or the day before, but you could see, because uh, this is a demo account, like I said, I'm not going to put all my effort into this account because I just use this for YouTube, but you could see here, 7 minutes ago, 11 hours ago, 13 hours ago, 19 hours ago, 19 hours ago, somebody basically liked every single photo I had, and then here, 22 hours ago, 22 hours ago, uh, tw more accounts on 22, one day, one day, one day, and so on, and then two two days, two days, two days, and so on, like I could just keep listing them out, but uh, this is by far far the cheapest way uh, to grow your Instagram account and by therefore growing your Instagram account you're growing your Redbubble store whether it be from traffic or sales um, but I, there's so many companies that do this like for example Redcon one uh, we can go ahead and open them them up they're a supplement company guess what they want to sell their supplements so what do they do they do inspirational and sales posts in their Instagram account so here's a sales post for example apple cider vi uh, apple cider vinegar with B vitamins and and guess what? It's got 1,121 likes, and I bet you some people out of those 1,000 clicked on the link and decided to buy. Um, same thing with this. This is an inspirational post that has gotten 3,412 likes, right? Um, we can click on another one here of a t-shirt, 1,482 likes. You know, this one got... 1,741 likes, you know, and so on. And so this one got 4,000, you know, just like that. So what they're doing is they're using their Instagram account to gain followers and to gain sales. And Redcon One is the one of the biggest companies. I think their average day is like a million dollars a day, which is pretty, you know, pretty easy for them. I mean, pretty crazy. I mean, um, and uh, you can see that they're doing this all the time. They have a whole team behind it, but you don't need to be, uh, you don't need a whole team. It's very easy. And they have a advertising budget that we don't have, right? We can't pay for ads. We don't have any uh, like really large budget. Like we don't have a million dollars a month to pay for ads or, or $50 a month or, you know, whatever the case may be, you know, $500 a month. I know some people can't pay $50 a day. Some people can, uh, but either way, if you compare that to the cost of these tools, uh, you're looking at $19.99 for this, $9.99 for this, $9.99 for this, or you could just pay and own the tool outright and pay 120 up front. Um, so kind of just depends on what you want to do, but the budget is drastically cheaper. And once again, if you need help installing, if you need guidance on that, just go over to my website, click on both of these links. You're going to watch both of them, uh, but they'll help you install and help you learn how to use them. All right. Uh, so that's kind of the step by step behind the scenes tutorial for Instagram and Redbubble. If you have any questions on this, uh, and yes, by the way, it does work on you know, Amazon, it does work on Etsy, it does work on Zazzle, it works on all those. Um, on Amazon especially, I would run this for a day, I would get 10 sales in one day. Um, and then that would boost up the organic sales later down the road. I do have videos on that as well, you could check it out in the other channel, but uh, that's really it. Alright, I'll talk to you guys later, thank you guys for watching, peace out, bye.